so hello, I'm Zach Smerick, and I'm going to be talking about this voltage regulator on this Kohler Pro 17 horsepower OHV. Uh, I was doing an engine swap on this mower, and I bought this engine, completely different engine, I think it was originally Briggs and Stratton was in here, different uh, wiring setup, I had to kind of mess around with it. I'm not used to using messing with these kind of voltage regulators, I'm used to the Briggs and Stratton with just the diode in line and the other AC power for the lighting and stuff like that so I kinda looked it up found out they didn't really have too many videos explaining exactly what how to test if it's good you know what all the wires do eventually I figured it out just kinda messing around with it but just thought I'd make a video to show everyone out there who I have the same questions I have so first of all to show that it's good it should be getting around a 14 uh, volt charge out of it uh, this one does do that, so it's pretty good. Pretty good little voltage regulator. Start it up here. Show it. And you notice that when I turn the key on, uh, that's when it actually applies power to it. That's just how I set it up. doesn't necessarily have to be that way. But I kind of wanted to also show you kind of the ohms I'm getting out of this system and kind of what these wires do. So first of all, we got these two wires on the outside. Those are coming from your stator. They are AC inputs that the rec this rectifier creates it's I think this one's a 15 amp charging rate out of this center one that just applies the positive wire that center one gives you positive charge that goes for me straight to my battery uh, or through the key first but uh, I could show you the ohms you should be getting on it so between, let's not do that, let's do this, those two leads, ohms, I'm getting 0.7, sitting out of it, 0.7.8 or so, and that apparently is a good, rec good voltage regulator ohm reading, these two I don't get anything, which is odd because I figured it'd probably have both of them have ohm readings that just charge out of both of them, but I wasn't sure. What I'm guessing they do is these two wires that come out, because these two wires here are connected to the AC inputs going into this voltage regulator. And I'm assuming they just use them to hook up lights and stuff. Um, you know, maybe a uh, charging amp or something, I don't know. But I'm not using them for anything, they're just sitting there main thing is that you're getting these two white wires going into these two uh, AC inputs to the voltage regulator and it doesn't matter which way they go it's AC currents oscillating currents so there's no positive negative until it comes out of the center one which is positive and as you see you need that ground pretty solid you can't have that wiggly although it should be grounding through these bolts here too and I'm sure they just put it in there for extra and then, I'm not sure, I didn't test this, but I could see what this, if this gives me any readings between, for this stator. And look like it. Alright. Well, that's about it. Just kind of wanted to show you guys that. Basic setup, outline. Uh, so you guys have a great day.